Hey guys, so today we're going to be using the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Vintage Palette. I am just obsessed with these shadows. So pigmented and so beautiful. And can we talk about the pan size? I mean, come on. So I'm going to be priming my eyes with Panerly Paint Pot, and then I'm going to be taking a Samey 2.2 and Dirty Brown and Amber, and I'm going to be putting this in my crease. Basically doing windshield wiper motions. These Samey brushes are super soft, so they really make blending super easy. So I'm doing Dirty Brown first, and then I'm gonna bring in Amber and warm up the crease. And this combination is just actually so pretty. I love the mustard color of the dirty brown and then just the amber, it just warms it up, it's so nice. Now taking a Sigma E58 brush, I love this brush right now for eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking Persian Rose and I'm going to be putting this on the lid from the inner corner to the center, kind of stopping there. And I'm going to be packing this on a whole bunch to make sure that it's super pigmented. And then I'm grabbing Cranberry Crush and I'm basically putting this over that but focusing it on the center lid. These two colors together are just amazing and they blend so well. Now I'm going to be taking Coco Lace with a Makeup Addiction small tapered blender brush. And I'm going to be focusing this on the outer V, basically kind of patting it on there and then blending it into the center crease, but mostly focusing on the outer V. Now I'm taking Moonberry and I'm going to basically cover the Coco Lace and deepen that outer V, bring it into the center crease and kind of smoking everything out very, very softly with a light hand. I'm going to blend it out with the Samey 2.2 just to make sure everything is nice and soft. And then we're going to line our lids with Kat Von D's Trooper Tattoo Liner. And I'm basically just doing a simple wing, dragging the eye so I get a straight line and then connecting a wing. And if you guys want to see a really in-depth tutorial on how I do my liner, there is a tutorial on that on my channel. Favorite thing about this liner though is if you mess up, it's super easy to clean up. I just take a point of Q-tip from CBS and just kind of clean it up with some makeup remover and you have yourself a sharp wing. Now taking Tardis Mascara from Tarte, I'm just going to coat some lashes. And then I'm going to be taking Monroe Lashes from Holly April Lashes. I have a code Gianna10 if you guys want to save some dollar dollar bills. And I just love these lashes, they're super durable. Love, love, love. Now we're going to move on to face. Hi guys. And we're going to be taking the Clean Slate Poreless Primer from Tarte and I'm going to be putting this all over the face. This is really nice and lightweight. Um, really smooths out my pores. I like it a lot. And I'm just going to be putting this all over, especially on my forehead. That's where I have my lines that I hate very much. Now grabbing Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. I'm going to pump this all over my skin and then I'm going to blend it out with an Oval 7 brush from Artiste. Probably one of my favorite brushes for foundation right now just because it puts on what you put in it like it does not take away any product if that makes sense did that make sense you know what i mean guys basically this brush takes no product away from your face it blends everything that you put on and it takes no product away it doesn't absorb any product it basically just blends everything out and i love that i don't have to waste product with this brush for concealer, I'm using two different guys. I'm using Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in medium neutral to kind of cover and use as a base. And I'm going to just put this on my under eyes, on the sides of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and then I'm going to be brightening with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm going to put this under my eyes again and down my nose again, and I'm just going to also put this on my forehead. I started doing this combination recently and I saw that I had a lot more coverage than when I did the two Urban Decay concealers. I think because the NARS Rating Concealer is a little bit heavier, it just creates a really great coverage and I just love this combination right now. So you know, I'm blending out with Beauty Blender and then we'll move on to baking. I'm going to be baking with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. We're not doing crazy, crazy baking, just kind of for like five minutes, just so we have the concealer set. And I'm also going to kind of sharpen 
underneath so when I do put some contour it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to use Medium Tan Honey Confidence Creamy Powder by Tarte and a Tarte powder brush. I'm just going to basically pat this in my face, kind of set the rest of the foundation that I didn't set with the translucent powder. And for bronzer, I'm using Hoola by Benefit and a Sigma F40 brush. And we're basically just going to contour these cheeks out a little bit and warm up the rest of the face around the temples. I've noticed that when you put bronzer above your brows, like above the arch, it really kind of slims your face down a little more, making it look a little more oval. So I've been doing that a lot lately. And we're just going to bronze the rest of the face out, make sure to get the jawline as well. And if you notice, I didn't super contour my nose. I kind of just brushed some bronzer on there and just called it a day. Now taking a 126 brush from Zoeva, I'm just going to smooth out all of that baking powder, make sure I take all the excess powder away. And then taking an F10 brush from Sigma and Melba by MAC, I'm going to blush those cheeks. Love this blush for a natural flush. Very natural looking for the medium to tan skin tones. Now for highlight, I'm using Mary Luminizer and an A23 brush from Anastasia, and we're going to basically put this on my cheekbones, my brow bone, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, you know, the deal. Really obsessed with this highlighter right now, it's just so glowy. I'm also going to take it with a small brush and put it on the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to take a smudge brush from Luxie and Dirty Brown Amber, Cocoa Lace, and Moonberry, and I'm going to be putting this on the lower lash line using Dirty Brown and Amber first, and then smoking out with Cocoa Lace and Moonberry. Now I'm going to just coat the lower lashes with Tartus Mascara by Tarte. Perfect for your lower lashes, super defining. Now I'm going to be taking Anastasia's Liquid Lipstick in Stripped, and we're going to be covering those gorgeous lips with this color. They're not that gorgeous. I wish they were bigger, but you know, what are you gonna do? But anyway, I love how soft this color is on my lips. Gore. Just. Now to set the face, I'm using Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray, and I'm just gonna spray this all over. And that's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and thumbs it up if you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.